I, I've had a small group that I call uh, Inside Fireside Tattoo Club, and we've been doing that for a while. But it's really been focused. It's a dis, it's a Discord server, mm-hmm. and it's been focused on uh, people who have bought Fireside courses and want a little feedback. And I'm trying to keep it um, drawing focused and tight knit. But like you, I'd like to do. I'd like to have more kind of like drink and draw nights or, or, or fun where it works well, independent of the courses, because up until now, it's basically just been a way to get feedback on assignments from those courses. Yeah, we've yeah, we've also been trying to, you know, get people to start posting in Launchpad for critiques. And occasionally they do. And, and sometimes when they do, the, the responses that they get from our members are incredible. You know, we've seen people take that person's artwork, pull it into a digital program and draw on top of it to try to illustrate the changes they were recommending and you know trying to foster that and then get it to consistently happen because you know sometimes it'll happen and then someone else will post something up and it's like just crickets chirping you know like Mm -hmm. it's no one's no one's commenting no one's helping and and it's just a matter of scale really you know because someone has to see that post and have the time and the energy to respond to it so there just have to be more people we're really changing the i guess the the way that we think about whether someone is or is not qualified for launchpad i think at the very beginning there was this idea that it was going to be all of uh you know expert level tattoo artists people who were like really advanced in their career and so you know there were applications that came through where for whatever reason they didn't seem to qualify and now we're rethinking all of that and we're saying, okay, like let's, let's try to open it up a little bit and see if we get some people that are, you know, in their first few years of tattooing who are really hungry for a community to come in here. And then maybe that will create, you know, foster an environment where those experts have someone there that they can share that expertise with.